Today's topic is, Entity Relationship Diagram. What is ER Diagram? ER Diagram or Entity Relationship Diagram, is the diagrammatic representation of a collection of basic objects, called entities, along with attributes, which define their properties, and of relationships among such entities. It provides a standard and logical way of visualizing data. Let's discuss some basic terms related to Entity Relationship Diagram. First is Entity. An entity is an object in the real world, that is distinguishable from other objects, based on the values of the attributes it possesses. Next is Entity Set. It is a collection of entities, that have same set of properties. And the units that describes the characteristics of the entities is called attributes. Types of Entities. There are two types of entities. First type is Tangible Entities. Tangible entities are those, which exist physically in the real world. Like student, employee, bank locker, etc. And the other type is intangible entities. Intangible entities are those, which exist logically in the real world, like software, bank account, etc. Types of entity set. There are two types of entity set. Strong Entity Set, and Weak Entity Set. Strong Entity Sets are those, which have a key attribute, and are not dependent on any other Entity Set. On the other hand, Weak Entity Sets are those, which don't have a key attribute, and are dependent on another Strong Entity Set. The representation of these Entity Sets in ER Diagram, are shown on the screen. Types of Attributes the types of attributes based on different properties, are shown on the screen. Let's understand the different types of attributes one by one. Simple attributes are those which cannot be divided further, whereas composite attributes can be divided further, into two or more simple attributes. The symbols and examples for both have been shown, Single-valued attributes are those, which can have only one value at an instance of time, whereas multi-valued attributes can have more than one value at an instance of time. The symbols and examples for both have been shown. Stored attributes are those, whose values are already stored in the database, whereas in derived attributes, the values are computed in runtime, using the stored attributes. The symbols and examples for both have been shown. Other than these attributes, there is another type of attribute, that is key attribute. Key attributes are those which can identify an entity uniquely in an entity set. All attributes other than key attributes are non-key attributes. Example of both of these attributes is shown on the screen. Relationship. A relationship is an association between two or more entities, of same or different entity sets. A set of similar type of relationship is known as relationship set. The representation of relationship set, in the ER diagram, is shown on the screen. Every weak entity set is related to a strong entity set. The strong entity set is said to be the identifying or owner entity set, with respect to the weak entity set it is related to. And the weak entity set is said to be existence dependent, on the identifying entity set. The relationship between a weak entity set, and its corresponding identifying entity set, is called identifying relationship. The representation of identifying relationship, in the ER diagram, is shown on the screen. For a weak entity set, a set of attributes can be used to distinguish a specific entity, 
among all the other entities. This set is called discriminator, or partial key. The representation of discriminator, in the ER diagram, is shown on the screen. The key attribute of a weak entity set, is formed by the combination of the key attribute of the identifying entity set, and the discriminator of the weak entity set. Here is an example, of an entity relationship diagram. We have three entity sets. Student, Guardian and Teacher. Guardian is a weak entity set, which is, existence dependent, on student entity set. Student and teacher are strong entity sets, and are related to each other. For student entity set, role number is a key attribute. Name is a composite attribute, that can be divided into three parts, first name, middle name and last name. Age is a derived attribute that can be calculated using DOB and system date. For guardian entity set, phone number is a multi-valued attribute. Name and phone number, forms the partial key, or discriminator. For teacher entity set, teacher ID is a key attribute. Phone number is a multi-valued attribute. Teacher and student entity sets are related through the relationship teaches. Student and guardian entity sets are related through the relationship has. Hope you got the basic idea about entity relationship diagram. Thank you.